Hey everybody, what's going on? So today I wanted to do something a little different and talk to you guys about safety. So in drag racing, you know, I always push for a lot of the guys that I, uh, that I, you know, talk to or try and help along. Ricky, one of them, you know, I always talk to guys about safety and we try and do the best we can. Unfortunately, a lot of the safety stuff nowadays is really expensive. You know, like a good fire suit, if you want to buy a 15 rated suit or a 20 rated suit, man, on a 20 rated suit, you'll probably spend 2,500 bucks just by the time you get, you know, your jacket, your pants, your shoes, your gloves, all that stuff is just crazy expensive, not to mention helmets that expire, you know, all that stuff really adds up. So what I wanted to show you guys today was something I finally got in for my race car that I try and promote. And I've told, you know, some buddies of mine as well. And I've just been kind of holding off because they're expensive. So I wanted to show you guys what just got delivered. So there you have it, brand new in the box. It is the new race tech seat from New Zealand. So just got delivered here right now. It is their RT4100HR. So it's got the head restraints that you see up here in the picture. And um, so yeah, I figured, man, you know, I wanna do things the right way for my car. We actually a dealer for them now. So if anybody's looking for a badass seat, they have the head restraint seats and they have the regular seats. So I will uh, get this inside and let's get it unboxed. you have it race tech 4100 hr race seat this thing is awesome as you can see here it's got the head restraints for the helmet um super sturdy to protect the head god forbid you're in an accident has all your seatbelt provisions down here also very padded very cushioned to protect the driver uh just an awesome seat man i put this back here because i'm going to try and fit it in the car now make sure i don't mess this thing up I know it's going to be tight in my car and let's see how much this thing weighs that's what i'm curious about it really doesn't weigh anything if you uh pick this thing up it's very light so i mean one hand you could pick it up so i'm curious to see what it weighs let's see let's see what it weighs actually it's a little too tight in there so let me bring the scale out Look at that, 18 pounds. That's awesome. This thing is super lightweight. Can't believe it's that light. But uh, actually now let's try and get this thing in the car. That's the main thing to see if it fits. I know it's going to be tight. First issue, it does not want to go in. I almost got it in. I tried to test fit it before and I had to notch this little area here on the steering rack. So that helped to get it in. It didn't want to pass this before, so now it does. But it's too wide here for the double frame rail, which I know it will fit once I get it inside there. I know I got plenty of room there, but uh, I can't get it to drop past the frame rail. So there is a little layered section in here that i'd hate to cut but i think i'm gonna have to trim some of the bottom here on the plastic part of the seat just to get it to drop in further so uh there's no other real way to do it i'm not gonna cut this out so i think that's what i'm gonna try and do next trim the plastic on the seat to get it to drop in and then uh go from there because for the most part it's pretty much in everywhere else if you look up here it actually fits really good up top here so it's right against these upper funny car bars and i can actually still kind of move it in there so it's it's in there just all right there you have it so i trimmed a little bit i didn't actually do that on camera because it actually hurt my soul 
to uh, trim a brand new seat that I just got, which is kind of crazy, but there was no other way to get it in. So it's still a little crooked. Um, hold on, let me get back here. So you look from this angle, I don't know if you could tell, but it's kind of got to lean this way. So what's happening is it's hitting over there. And since that little hump right there hits, it wants to keep the top of the seat that way. So I'm probably going to have to trim that around that bar. But for the most part, it's in there. I mean, it's it fits well. The funny car cage section fits well. Um, you know, I could mount it back here where it needs to mount once I get all that figured out and get the seat straightened out. So it would actually pick up a little bit more and give a little bit more of a lean that way. Or I can get it flatter back there. But uh, what's cool about this seat is it has two mountain points back here in the back that I like as well. That Momo makes a similar seat, but it doesn't have the mounting points in the back, so that I didn't like. Here are the mounting points for here are the mounting points for the side. So what you do is you build a little jig off of the frame rail down here to grab these two mounting points. And uh, but man, yeah, this thing fits great. I'm actually gonna get in there now and see what this looks like, but. Again, this little section right here, which kind of sucks, so I'm gonna have to trim that just to bring it in some more. Sucks to trim it. And it'll bring this part, it will actually probably fit right in here, which is actually cool. See, so it would actually fit right in there once I get it to fit the right way. So just gotta trim a little bit more and get the, the top in. But let's get in and see what this looks like. All right, let's get in and hopefully I don't kill myself here, but Oh man, this thing is comfortable. Guys, nothing better than this seat. I mean, I can actually drive it sideways. <laughs> but yeah, this is the beauty. You got the helmet here. You can't really move once you're strapped in. But yeah, once I could get it and position it this way some more, man, it's gonna be perfect. All right, so here is actual driver's seat view. Um, and again, it fits good. I think if I could give it, I might give it a little bit of a lean this way where I could actually lean back a little bit more. But man, you're so snug in here. It's, it's just really great. It really is a good fit. Um, I'm really happy with it. And uh, that's it. Just got to get that piece cut up in the back. Like I said, right there. Cut that little pad out to clear that bar. And, and then from there, it'll, it'll scoot over a little bit as much as I need. And, and it'll work. Here's the view from in here, you can see. Plenty of space for the helmet up top. Um, keeps the helmet tight on the sides. You can't really, you know, along with the Hans device, which stops you from coming forward, but the Hans device also stops you from going left to right. So with these head pads, it just protects you all the way around, you know. Those carbon fiber seats that we like to race, those things are not safe. I don't like them. And this is just the way to go. So I contemplated this for a while because I didn't want to spend the money. But again, with safety, I tell everybody, man, you got to go that extra mile to be, you know, to make sure you're safe. So, so we also got a new steering wheel. I got uh, before this car used to have one of them old school Grant, um, God, like the red and black steering wheel that actually matched the exterior of the car. So I didn't want any of that. So I got this new strange pro stock wheel. So once we get the seat figured out where we want it then I can get you know the steering wheel exactly where it needs to go so that's a big deal that's kind of why I needed the seat so the pedals we already know that's already been done plenty of room very comfortable um, the steering wheel we have to get sorted as well so it actually had before it had this old so this knuckle style this actually is not SFI approved so we had to go with all the new strange stuff so I got the new strange quick release hub Pro stock wheel and uh, I like it. I've always liked this wheel. I think it's kind of cool how you got the yellow marking to let you know where straight up is so you kind of can't mess that up. So yeah, once we get the, the seat mounted exactly where I want it, then I'll get the wheel pretty much forward or back to where it needs to be. It used to be pretty much over here, which is way too far now. So I'll probably push it back a little closer. So let's, you know, get that figured out as well. All right, so I did what I didn't want to do, but I kind of had no choice. I had to take uh, 
and notch out the seat to get it to fit. Unfortunately, that's what happens when you have a car that's already built. And instead of cutting out this double frame rail, I had to notch the seat. So if you look over here, this area right here, I had to notch the, the seat out to, uh, you won't even notice once it's all together, but it's centered up pretty good, which I'm happy about. If you look over here in the funny car cage, you can see where it's pretty centered right there. I had to cut a little area right there also, but for the most part, it is in where it needs to be. So next I'll, uh, I'll get these seat mounts. So those are the mounts right there. You basically build a little chassis off of here and you lock it in right there with these two locking points. And then in the back, which is why I went with this seat, like I said, Momo made one, but it didn't have these mounting points. So I'll get a plate, I'll weld it off of this funny car cage here and it'll lock in the back of the seat. So that's the beauty of this seat is that it'll be locked in there on the top side and on the bottom side, which is what you want. You know, you don't want a seat floating around on top here and you're relying just on seat belts. So that's it guys, I got it in there. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, next I'll show you guys that I'll get it mounted and uh, I'll get the steering done hopefully. So I'm gonna try and do all that in the next video. So. All right, guys, take it easy. I will keep you guys posted on what we got coming up next.